¿Qué es lo que mi gente? Dame la verdadera luz. I'm Ricky from Bilingue Vlogs. Thank you for tuning in. If you are a new watcher, please subscribe. If you are a subscriber, I appreciate you for coming back. Everybody seems to think that I'm Dominican from the way that I speak. I am not Dominican. I am not Dominican. Mi gente, I'm not Dominican. What better way to prove it than to teach you how to talk Dominican Spanish? This is not Dominican slang. I'm gonna have another video talking about that, but this is just the Dominican linguistics, okay? So, you should leave this video knowing how to talk like a Dominican. The first thing that we need to know when we're doing Dominican Spanish is that the S's and the D's in Dominican and Spanish are kind of like the equivalent to trying to squeeze a bar of wet soap. It may be there, but it may not be there. You may still have it, you may still, you may not have it. It just depends on the word, honestly. But they do disappear. For example, many Dominican rappers, they feel like they have a lot of haters in the genre, within the genre. So, they're getting money, they're gonna tell their haters, you're mad because I'm getting money. How would you say this in neutral Spanish? I'm gonna say the Dominican word for mad, but I'm gonna say it in neutral Spanish. So here we go, the whole phrase would be, tú estás guiado porque me estoy buscando. That means, you mad because I'm getting money. But to say that in the Dominican accent, as I said before, where we eliminate the S's, we eliminate the D's, it would sound like, tú estás guiado porque me estoy buscando. At normal speed, tú estás guiado porque me estoy buscando. You get it? So you take all the S's off, and, and words like ado or ido, you can take the, the D off there, okay? So like, enojado would be the correct way to say mad. Estoy enojado. That's how you would say that in Dominican Spanish if people say enojado, but nobody really says enojado. Oh, fun fact, guapo means like upset in, in Dominican Spanish. Mi mujer está guapo conmigo. She's mad, she's upset with me. Anyways, that's beside the point. Let's go back to the topic. So, that's the first characteristic. S's and D's can disappear. Memorize that. Find out which words it can disappear with, find out which ones it can't, and you'll be good. The next thing is that when you have an N at the end of a word, then it can end up sounding like NG. Okay? For example, you may be in New York, you may have heard it before. Ben acá, ben acá is how everyone else says it. But in the Dominican, they say bang, bang acá. Pero ven acá, manito. Ven acá, manito. So you see there? Instead of ven acá, venga, venga, venga acá. They're not saying venga, they're just saying ven acá, ven acá. All right, last but not least, this is for the universal spectrum of Dominican uh, Spanish for, for what's you know spoken on the whole island for the most part. And I know that every single person doesn't speak the same, so don't take this as every single person speaks like this. There are some people who speak with a neutral accent. I mean, some people like to mimic other accents. It just really depends on who you're talking to, but this is a generalization. The last thing would be the tone. So you want to make your last, your second to last syllable of like whatever kind of phrase you're saying, you want to make that kind of elongated. Ese tiempo está loco, pero Carlos, no me haga eso, mi amor, ¿qué tú haces? That kind of tone, okay? Not every single person talks like that and they don't do it in every single sentence, but you, you will notice listening to them speak that that's a way that they will talk. Get the wise. So now let's get into the breaking it down into sections. There is an actual linguistic war over L's and R's right now in the Dominican Republic. Okay, it's not a real war, but people seem to think that they're better than one another by their accent, right? So let's talk about El Cibao or also the North. And mind you, I've never been to the Dominican Republic. I just consider myself an unofficial linguist. So I just study this stuff in my own time, you know, whenever. I don't even try to study, I just notice it. In El Cibao, the L's and the R's, towards the end of the word, will become more of an E sound. So they say that they hablan con la I, they talk with la I, and that just means that they change their R's and L's to the E sound. For example, we're at the beach, and some guy's looking at my girl's butt or something, I'll be like, pero estás mirando las nalgas de mi mujer? Right, that's neutral Spanish. But in Dominican Spanish, tú estás mirando la nalga de mi mujer? 
That's El Cibao, Dominican Spanish, okay? That's Torres del Norte. Also in Santiago. Santiago would like be the capital if Santo Domingo wasn't the capital. So the E versus the L, those are gonna like be a forever, that's gonna be like a forever going battle between the dialects there. Um, so now let's talk about Santo Domingo, the rival of Santiago in El Cibao. So in Santo Domingo, they'll talk with an L. So your R is becoming L. For example, mi amor, tu eres la única persona en mi vida. That's neutral Spanish. Mi amor, tu eres la única persona en mi vida. But in Santo Domingo Spanish, mi amor, tu eres la única persona en mi vida. Mi amor, instead of mi amor, and then persona, instead of persona. I don't say eres, because that's just, that's just weird. I still say eres. It's still a flick of the tongue. But the rest of it, mi amor, and la persona. Persona instead of persona, okay? So that's that. Uh, let's talk about el este, the east side. So on the east, your R's and your L's may just be kidnapped. They may be gone forever, may not come back. So, for example, there's a song by this rapper. He's dead now, rest in peace, Monkey Black. But he had a song called, uh, actually I don't even know what the song's called, but I know it goes like, me van a repetar. So the, the real way is, me van a respetar, but we Dominicanize it right. And then since we're in the East, we took off the R and just let it be the A and kind of accent that last A. Me van a repetar. Me van a repetar. Me van a repetar. So instead of respetar, repetar. Simple as that. Um, or if I'm gonna say like strong, él es muy fuerte. I would say in Dominican, él es muy fuerte. On, on the east side, on the east side, not like all over the country, but on the east side, that's how more or less they may speak. There are a few other characteristics that I haven't been able to pinpoint the location, but I'll tell you them anyways. Some places, uh, the I will turn into a R. The I or the L may turn into a R. So for example, for saying like oil, aceite, they may say acerte. Pásame el acerte. Get it? Or, esta es la última vez. Let me say, esta es la última vez. You get it? So it's a slight change from between the L and the R, but the I is just, I find that really interesting. And then also sometimes uh, when you end a word with O, they may change it to the U sound. So like, Reynaldo may become Reynaldo. Those are the characteristics that I've noticed from Dominican Spanish. Um, like I said, I speak like I'm from Santo Domingo, even though I've, I've never even been out of the country. Um, but I, I wish I want to go someday. <laughs> so hopefully that, that happens for me. So that's Dominican Spanish. Stay tuned for my videos about Puerto Rican and Cuban Spanish. You know, now that you know how to speak like a Dominican, feel free to check out bilingueblogs.blogspot.com to go check out those Dominican phrases so that if you're going to go visit the Dominican Republic, you can fit right in knowing what they're saying. Even if you're not using the phrases, you can know what they say. So thanks for checking the video out. Um, please like it, share it. And don't forget to subscribe and uh, comment down below if, you, if there are other characteristics that I didn't mention in this video that you think that I should have mentioned. I'm curious. Um, like I said, I'm like an unofficial linguist, so I don't know everything. You know, I've never even been to the country before, but these things I do know. Um, so, yeah.